Hello, in this video we'll be learning how to draw a cute fox in Procreate. You'll want to start off with a decent sized document, probably around the size of your iPad screen. And we're going to select a nice rich orange color to start. For the pen, we're going to start off with a technical pen. And let's start off with some simple shapes to start our fox off. I'm going to start off with a nice oval shape in the middle of the page. This is going to be the start and base of our head. Fill this in and let's draw in some side whiskers on each side. And also fill these in on both sides. One, two, three. That's looking really good. Once you're done with the head base, we need the ears layer. So select this layer on top, drag it down, and let's uh, make it a little bit darker just so we can see the ears behind. And fill in both ears. Ears are looking good. Let's prepare some layers for the body. Same thing, add a new layer below the ears. Let's add in a, almost a big oval for the body. That's looking good. Maybe adjust it a little bit. I'm going to sketch it out to get a better shape. Good, a little bit of cleanup. And then a new layer, select the lighter color above the body layer. Let's add in some paws. With these oval shapes on both sides, this is going to be the back paw. And a new layer, even lighter color and this is going to be the front paws. And just cap it so when we fill it, it should fill in pretty easily. I'm going to move it just slightly forward. And above the paw, we're going to add in some hair. So select a little slightly darker white around blue, we could add in some fur on the neck, like so. This is going to be below the head layer and above the paw layer. And for the tail, we need it right behind everything, so new layer behind everything, even darker than the body, but slightly. Let's do the tail. So we're going to start with a circle. Shrink it just a little bit. Now let's do the end shape and cap. That's a great base for our fox. Now we can work on the details. So for the head, we're going to add a new layer, do a clipping mask, and selecting this color right here, go a little bit lighter, and we're gonna do the white of the face and make sure it's a clipping mask to select the clipping mask we're going to just add the layer on top select the layer and select clipping mask let's draw in a nice circle fill that in and then a u shape fill that in same for the other side Fill those in. And don't worry if it's blending in with the background. We'll have it so we um, can shade it so it stands out. So we need a few more layers in preparation for the shading. Add a new layer for the face. Clipping mask again. Black this time and we're going to do the eyes. We're going to do a nice big eye. Fill that in. Maybe move it a little bit closer. 
duplicate by dragging across on the layer, duplicate, move, to the other side, and to merge the two eyes together, just pinch it together and it should merge it. Those looking great. And then new layer for the nose. Let's do a little cute nose. Fill it in, move it in place. And then for the mouth, it's just going to be a cute view on both sides. Around there and a line in the middle. Let's see, what else do we need? We need to start adding some details. Uh, clipping, clip the, the details of the face to the face layer also. And let's work on the ear details. For the ear, add a new layer. We're gonna go for a pink and add in the pinks of the ear really quick by doing this shape. Make sure it doesn't um, touch the outside. It's just a little bit of pink on the inside. That's looking good. And clip it to the ear. Now we can do some shading on the whole body. To start the shading process, it's very important to alpha lock each layer. So you just select the layer, alpha lock. To get to this menu, you just double tap each layer and just do a quick alpha lock. This will allow us to paint within the shapes we created. Once all the layers are locked, all we need is our airbrush. And we're going to start off with the face first. So let's go to the layer where we have the white in the face. Select that. Go a little bit more grayish dark and blue. Let's do a little bit more blue. And now we could wash in some dimension to our face. Like so. Making it feel very 3D. Maybe a little bit more. If it's too much, just go back to the white. Wash that back in. That's looking good. And then going to the orange layer this time. A little bit darker. Just wash in to get that 3D effect. Let's go even darker. Smaller brush. Get the edges a little bit crispier. Add even more depth. Now we're going to just go throughout the whole piece in each shape and add some dimension to each one of them. So this is the ear layer. Maybe you size your brush down a little bit so you can get the edges. And the pink layer. does it keep changing colors? Interesting. Let's see. Darker pink. Not oh, it works this time. The ears are looking good. Let's do the fur. Selecting this dark color and going a little darker. Let's add some shadowing right below and shade in the bottom of the fur and maybe a little bit lighter towards the middle. Looking good. Move over to the paws. Going a little bit darker where areas of shadow would happen. Like under the fur, the paws would have some shadowing. The legs on the outside. Same thing, go a little bit darker, where there would be shadowing. 
and finally the body which might turn out the darkest of all because it's behind everything we just want to have enough depth to show the elements in front like so you could use a smudging tool with a soft brush to smooth that out a little bit and finally the tail the tail I'm gonna going to start off with a little bit brighter color towards the tip and then go to an even darker color than the body so the tail could stand out from the body like so we could add some more details to add even more depth to our fox so for the tail we could add some white so to do that we're going to add a layer above the tail clipping mask we're going to use this selection tool right here go to freehand and let's just draw some zigzag shapes like so and select the white color fill it in and since it's clipped to the tail it won't go outside of the tail and then we just need to alpha lock it go back to airbrush and using the same blue as before add some depth to our new tail detail Ooh, I really like that how like it looks very rounded in 3D. So I'm going to do the same thing with this outside tail. That's looking really cool. Let's add some details to the paws. Do the same method. On the paws, let's add in some black detail. Same thing, new layer, clipping mask, brush, a dark color, to start, like so. Make sure to alpha lock it, and then just do a light amount of shading. To give it some depth. That paw looks really cute. And then I want to do it with the same back paws. Oops. Just like that. Oop. I haven't done the clipping mask. So when we pour it, it was still behind. Alpha lock, airbrush. Select a dark color to add some dimension and even darker so we could separate it the front paws the eyes are looking a little scary so let's work on the eye go to eye layer it's awful lock so with the airbrush let's add in a nice light color maybe not the too light like so let me smudge it to even it out a little bit and then new layer on top clipping mask it's on already let's go back to our inking tool with a white and let's draw in some highlights you can make the highlights big circle and a small circle. Fill those in. Like so. Let's do the same on the nose. Clipping mask. And a highlight. That's looking super cute. Maybe we could add a layer on top. We don't have to clip this to anything. And let's just add in some details. For the paws, I want to add in some little paw lines using the pen, like so. And let's see what else we could do. We could add in 
maybe some hair details with a slightly darker color to the fur. Very subtle, doesn't need much. Actually, let's undo that. I don't, I don't like that too much. Let's keep it clean. I do like how it looks already. So there you have it. Your very own cute drawing in Procreate of a baby fox. If you like the video, please give it a like and a thumbs up and that'll help the video a ton. If you have suggestions for any other videos, please leave it in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.